Hey everyone, I just wanted to go over TravelX travel insurance uh, with you, I'll do a little bit of a review and kind of show you around their website. I came up upon this because uh, I, I actually had my, my dad had an issue with some travel recently. He had booked something and then there were changes in plans and that's when really pretty much when I started taking a look at travel insurance. And so I came across TravelX Travel Insurance and wanted to just show you how easy it is to use their site. First of all, let's uh, I'll just scroll down here. Um, before I get into showing you that, I wanted to show you that they've got a real good standing over at the Better Business Bureau. They've got an A-plus rating and in the last three years they'd nine complaints and one closed in 12 months not bad they have been with the Better Business Bureau it looks like since 1999 so we're, we're not talking about a fly-by-night startup and I actually looked I couldn't really find details about the complaints other than that they were they were all answered it looked like they were all answered the most recent one uh, looks like in April just a uh, looked like they said product with product service but looks like everything's going pretty well I don't see the customer reviews not sure if they have any here uh, no they don't have any on here but according to here the TravelX insurance reseller rankings they've got a, a five-star ranking here but uh, you can check that out for yourself and I always tell people to, to look down below a website and check out uh, a company's reputation online because it is really important but really what I wanted to show you today oh oh and they also have a, an active Facebook group a, a active Facebook page which I think is important uh, that's another thing to check on to see how proactive the company is and today I'm recording this video on June 25th 2015 and just two days ago they did make a um, a post and a couple of days before that and before that and before that so they are proactive they are active all right let's get on over here and show you where to get a quote take a look right here get a quote and if you were going to get travel insurance now they were advertising as low as twenty dollars I did not see that but maybe I didn't put in an age that say young enough or a trip cost low enough but I wanted to be realistic so let's say it's just me. Let's say I no. Let's let's say my husband and I are both going on a trip because we're we're gonna go on a trip together probably. And let's say I'm of course I'm a U.S. citizen. Now let's see age. Okay, now let's just put in the ages. Uh, let us say hmm. I'm not gonna tell you my age. Let's say I was. Oh, let's dream. Let's say I'm 40 years old and the trip is going to cost me $1,500, my share. Let's say my husband's 40 years old and his share is $1,500. And let's just say we live in Alabama and wait for that page to come up. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, I see a little circle here whirring around telling us what it's doing. Okay. Now let's say, oh, I don't know. Let's say we were going to take a trip in August. Let's say we were going to go for a one-week trip somewhere in August and come back that day. And all right, let's get a quote. And we're tra uh, traveling leisure. You could see right here, select your plan type. But I'll, I'll show you that here again. It's whirring around. Oh. All right, so total trip cost for three thousand dollars looks like for basic travel it would cost a hundred and twenty five and let's see what we get for that trip cancellation hundred percent uh, trip interruption hundred percent this is the basic if we were delayed or a missed cruise connection that's interesting baggage delay some coverage for illness looks like Oh, medical evacuation or repatriation of remains, which is a gruesome thought, but, you know, it does happen. Uh, travel assistance, upgrades available. So available, so you could upgrade that. 
uh, plan highlights let's see what else they have looks like a maximum trip cost of ten thousand dollars would be available on this plan refund policy so oh and then here you just you can you can buy it review your review the description of the coverage let's just take a look at that it looks like a PDF I'm working with uh, Internet Explorer on Windows 8 so I apologize it's not the best system here okay it's a 10 page document it's pretty looks pretty in-depth huh you know I I have to I have to say it, it's time for me to start looking at this for myself because there was one time where we almost had to cancel a trip of our own I didn't even know about travel insurance back then uh, because my husband had broken his hip and he was barely recovering and we had booked a trip months in advance and it was about I'll bet you at the time it probably was at least three thousand dollars so we went and we had a good time he was able to walk but had we not been we would have lost out on that and now in hindsight which of course is always 2020 would it have been worth it for us to have bought travel insurance absolutely and from here on I'm looking at this and from here on because things do change uh, we're probably gonna be starting to look at this so let's take a look let's take a look and see if the rate would change depending on where we were in the US just for giggles alright we saw this was one hundred and twenty five dollars if we lived in Alabama just waiting to get back to the edit let's well, I don't know where might we live let's take a choice uh, let's say Indiana all right it was 125 for the other one yeah, seems like it's the same now I want to show you this over here on the left it's either leisure you can choose leisure or a flight insurance uh, that's gonna I've noticed that this was gonna be more expensive see 125 for a leisure trip oh actually there isn't that's interesting I thought for some reason it would be more expensive and eighty three dollars for that and let's go back and edit trip details again um, let's see what happens if we're 50 same trip let's say let's go somewhere else uh, let's say we live in Massachusetts all right wait for that to process get the quote same price there and leisure that same price there I'm gonna do one more I'm gonna do one more experiment and then I'll I'll leave you alone I wish it was a little faster let's say it's just me uh, and I'm gonna and let's say I'm just gonna take oh I'm gonna fly down from Massachusetts to oh I don't know Florida or somewhere down south for a conference let's see compare figure if I were flying out of Boston uh, let's see to Miami and then a conference let's say let's say my trip was gonna be six hundred dollars and it was gonna be oh for a week conference okay let's just try that six hundred dollars and I'm fifty years old uh, on here fifty two dollars that's not bad and oh oh it does look look it's giving me the option darn it I clicked it too fast it's giving me the option I want to see what happens when it's a business trip all right right here fifty two dollars for leisure let's see what happens sixty four dollars not bad oh there we go huh single trip twenty four dollars there you go for a nice little business trip that's worth it right there so so maybe you know when they say as low as twenty dollars that's it's probably what they're talking about so as all right so there you can see it um, I wanted to just go through a couple of things here but one more thing actually and then I'll, I promise I'll stop uh, there were some reasons they talked about to purchase travel insurance and I have to say I agree the peace of mind if you do lose your job like let's say I'm talking about that um, that business trip 
what happens if they suddenly cancel or they or I lose my job there or the company goes bankrupt or let's say I said pretending I was going to go through Miami let's say there was a bad storm uh, or for whatever reason and um, that would be a good reason right there to have to have the insurance and of course to protect the investment because yeah yeah you work hard for the money uh, personal belongings some concierge services that's kind of nice sometimes if you don't know an area it reminds me a little bit of like AAA type of thing but that's pretty much all I just wanted to show it to you it looks like a nice little company I like their ratings I like the fact that they're proactive and the rates are reasonable I thought so hopefully the little demonstration a little bit of this TravelX insurance review uh, gave you something to think about and I thank you so much for for watching and have a great day and we'll see you in another one of our review videos alright bye now